But what is really important to consider when transitioning into BIM is um, that BIM is, is a process and it's not a tool which uh, changed completely the way we think and the way we planify our, our work. Um, in the process of migrating uh, into BIM, uh, we at Corbis Global um, have had first hand on how hard this process can get if you are not prepared to face it correctly. Uh, for that reason, and based uh, in our experience with firms all around the world, we have detected areas of special attention that is required. Another um, area that uh, requires special attention when uh, talking about BIM are the BIM operators. BIM requires a very big effort in teamwork because usually files are shared between the different team members what implies uh, to set um, roles and responsibilities uh, before start working. Well, uh, another key aspect in, the, in this process of transitioning into BIM is the BIM coordination, um, that uh, once the, the process has started, you will need to make sure uh, the QA is under control. You will always need to keep a, a close eye on that because uh, that will assure the quality of your models, of course. This is really hard uh, to do when you don't have the time, the, the discipline, or even the expertise to do it. Uh, for that reason, uh, we have gathered all the information and all the experience uh, from the last past few years, and we have developed um, a tool that's called WinFlow, where, where all the process is uh, documented there with uh, live uh, documents that can be adapted to any um, situation or, or project. The important thing is that everybody has access to those files, so um, everybody has access to the information. Well, um, the first step is to develop a situation map that involves an assessment of the infrastructure, standards, people's skills, and any other relevant information. Once we have gathered, all, gathered and analyzed all that information, um, we give our clients our opinion on whether it's time or not to transition into BIM. If the decision is to move forward, uh, we advise to start with a medium scale project and start applying all what we have discussed uh, before. Highly preferable. Yeah. yeah. Well, terrible situations such as not planning the things beforehand or probably uh, dealing with uh, big software issues or spending a lot of time setting the things up or probably uh, trying to uh, going back to AutoCAD in the middle of the process. It's um, one of the situations that we came across in the past, but we have learned from our experience. So we know exactly how can we help you.